everybody, welcome to The Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. Today's video is going to be a look inside the brand new Ocean Unit Study. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first page that you'll see will be your table of contents. Now this is all listed out in the product listing, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time right there. Then you have your Ocean Sensory Play. There are two different options. One is a water bead based sensory bin and one is Play-Doh mats. There are numerous different Play-Doh mat samples that your child can enjoy doing. Here is one that Emily did for you guys to see. So there she made her starfish. Next, we get right into the unit study resources. All of these are hyperlinked, so you can click on any of them. These are not required. They're just extra supplements that would make great additions to this study. They would also be great in a morning, afternoon, or bedtime basket. So you have books, games, videos, and hands-on activities. And then we get straight into it. So each of the unit studies is gonna have a few components. Here we have the supplemental book list. Again, not required. And these are specific to this topic. The YouTube playlist where you can either click, scan your QR code or copy and paste, and then a hands-on activity. So here we're introducing to the ocean. There is a nonfiction reading summary along with discussion questions. And then there are these beautiful posters. So here is the five oceans, an activity page where your child will label the five oceans match the five oceans based off of their definitions. And then there are fun puzzles at the end, like word searches, crossword puzzles, or mazes. So here we have a word search. Then we get right into the next lesson. So history of oceanography and famous oceanographers. Again, we have that book list, the YouTube playlist, a hands-on activity, that nonfiction reading passage with discussion questions, original artwork coloring pages, timelines. Here is a worksheet where your kids can design their own exploration robot for exploring the ocean. Then we have a crossword puzzle. Famous oceanographer Sylvia Earle. So there's like a mini biography study in here on her. and then a word search. We get into ocean currents and tides with a very similar layout. Ocean habitats with a very similar layout. And then when we get to the animals of the ocean, they are all set up the same. So let me get to the first one of those. All right, here we go, crustaceans. So each of the animals is set up in the same way. Crustaceans has a huge, all of the animals have a huge book list. There's nonfiction books and fiction books. Those are all hyperlinked. They have the YouTube playlist. They have a Pinterest board full of craft ideas. They have numerous reading summaries, all with discussion questions. Most of them have multiple coloring pages for your kids to color while you're reading aloud or just for younger kids. These are all original artwork that Kevin has done for you guys. And then they have these anatomy pages that seriously, I cannot wait to do it with Emily because they're so beautiful. So we have the anatomy of a lobster, like a poster. You could print it out. You can hang it up. You can do whatever you want with it. And then we have one for your children. Now what's super fun about these boxes is this time around, I wanted to give a way for the younger kids to be able to participate. So they can either write the words in here or in the appendix, there are labels. So if you have a younger kid, they can use these labels that you'll find right here for each of the animals. And you can just have them cut them out and then paste them. So that if you have a kid who's not writing or doesn't really want to write, is maybe a reluctant writer, they can just cut and paste. And every animal is set up just like this. There's a research graphic organizer so they can pick a crustacean of their choice and research it further. And then there are mazes. 
in the back after you get through all of the ocean animals we have some writing prompts there are multiple different writing prompts on here then we have figurative language exercises these are ocean metaphors and similes we also have some ocean idioms then these were those labels i was talking about in the appendix and an answer key so we have an answer key for all of those pages in addition to that, you will get some other fun things like pattern block pages. So there are multiples of these. They come in color and black and white so that you can have your younger kids or older kids do them. At the bottom, it says how many of each shape did you use? Then there are also color cut and paste crafts for many of the different sea creatures. Emily has been kind enough to do one here as a sample for us so that you have some other hands-on engaging ways to use this study with your kids. And we all know it wouldn't be a wall duck way unit study if there weren't some principal games involved. So this is one of four games included. This is a ocean animal sort. So you will have your child pick the animal up and then sort it based off of what classification it is. So that would be a crustacean, fish, mammal, reptile, etc. Next, we have a seashell matching. So you could either play this like a memory game where you would lay them all out and flip them over, or you can just have them match them. But they would match the shell to the name as well as the definition. We have ocean animal bingo. So you would just pick the card, seahorse, and cover it up. The first one to fill a row would be the winner. And then last, we have a swimming with ocean animals trivia-based game. So it's really simple. You would roll the dice and then move that number of spots. And then you laid, landed on crustacean and fish. So you would find one of those and you would read that and see if you could answer it. And then in case you don't have a dice or playing pieces, we have included a foldable dice with ocean playing pieces and all the rules. And then here are all of the answers for all of the questions that are included.